It's me, Hello Mary Me, to all of you. It's, um, well, it's the 10th of July. And I have been, I got up today, it's only about 25 degrees, so it was cool enough that I was able to take care of some housework. Um, but I wanted to show you um, some things that are really starting to piss me off. Now, before we get started, I might use some colorful vernacular because as Mima likes to say, I like to cuss. It's good for my head and good for my ass. Oh, I don't know about my ass, but if you hear some nasty language, um, please understand that, you know, this is really frustrating and I'm not talking about the cleaning part. That's, that's an everyday thing. Everybody cleans house, including me. Um, I'm talking about the fact is that Ed has basically um, using my apartment as a storage locker and it's making things really difficult. It's bad enough that I had a lot of debris in the rec room, but now the rec room looks even worse. My case manager said she'll help me clean it up in a couple days. So let me just show you some of the things I got to clean up around here. Let's start with the, um, the break area because this is obviously um, a part of the house that has to be cleaned too. There's a pencil, pen, pen. Okay, so let's get started with our short little two second tour. This is the break area we usually sit in. Um, we have the table, and some debris, some junk under the tables. Landlord wants to throw this out, but I kind of want to keep this stuff because um, this is really, you know, it's part of our uh, area. This little tiny table, eh, that can go out. Rabbit hutch, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Um, I got it for a rabbit or a hamster, and he never used it. And, all the miscellaneous TVs and chairs, and including the TV the kitty's sitting on. Um, I probably have to figure out what to do with that. The grill, pfft, I don't even barbecue. I don't even know why I have to have one. Then over here, we have more of Ed's eight tracks. You got his, our camp stove. This we use um, to cook on when it really outside. It's more of Ed's thing. He was more into cooking than me. Um, but, um, it's kind of hard to see. I don't know if we can try to get this. There we go. There we go. Now you can see the camp stuff. Um, it's, it's old. It's rusty. It's dual fuel. We're in some Coleman and gasoline, so we use it outside for, obviously, environment. Now we can see better. Sorry about the, the lighting. Kind of just impromptu stuff. So now you can see the kitty cat. Here's Fame. Yeah, you remember Fame. He's the big cat. And then, of course, there's the TV. This works, but it's kind of crappy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it out. Then we have ashtrays. More crap. Um, just a whole bunch of shit. It just doesn't belong here. And, um... That makes it difficult. This is my side of the porch now. On the other side of the porch is more of Ed's cruft. Garbage. Garbage. Another TV. Um, it's other furniture that belongs to this family that Ed gave them. So it's really kind of a mixed match. Old movie projector, which Ed bought at a junk shop. It does work. I just don't have too many 8 millimeter movies to watch on it. Uh, let's go inside to where the real anxiety starts. The rec room. You thought it was bad before. It's even worse now. Because... Don't tell me to put it in the closet. Because I can't. He's using the closet too. So, the, uh, just gives you an idea just how aggravating this is. There's so much shit in here, and I have no idea where to put the fucking crap. Seriously. And, I mean, I want to do more than just looking at his shit in my house. He's 
I don't know what his plans are right now. He's staying with Tony in a residential motel, and that's all I know. Landlord said he's going to get a dump truck, and they're going to haul Cruff to the dump. Well, Jimmy, I got stuff in my apartment that I'm going to be throwing out, too. I'm going to give him this copy, this, my landlord a copy of this video, too, so he can watch it. And um, that way he understands that, number one, I am trying to clean my house. I am doing the best I can. Oh, yeah. Did I forget at least soda bottles, or in this case, open soda cups on the table? I don't know if cockroaches like Diet Pepsi, but I sure the hell don't. So, especially in soda, it's going to be bad, you know? So, I have to finish working on that. Now, uh, for those of you who are curious to know, I am going to be working on um, getting some um, things together to start doing the live streaming videos on the internet. But you gotta give me some time because it's gonna take some time to to uh, work on the motivation to do it because it takes so much bandwidth to do live video streams. Even uploading these videos to the internet takes time. But for right now, anyway, I'm gonna talk to you later. I hope to get to the soup kitchen tomorrow. I don't know what the soup kitchen had today. Uh, this is one of the few days I've had all my windows open. Somebody asked me one time, when it's cold, why do you always keep your windows shut? Well, the reason was, is this guy would be sitting out here blasting the stereo. And I don't like his music, and so I kind of like just slam the window shut and say, turn the air conditioner on max, and just so I can kind of drown him out as best I can. But uh, hopefully now that won't be an issue anymore. Because now I can uh, finally enjoy some silenzo. My silence. You know, my gloriously desired silence. I mean, I may have a hard time hearing. Maybe that's why I like a silent world. But um, maybe I don't know. Anyway, so I'll talk to you soon. Okay? Don't forget to like or dislike, comment down there in the comment section. Share with your friends or family. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Okay? Bye-bye.